Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use the date time picker in Expo React Native. So I'm using this React Native Community date time picker package and I'm going to post the link to the documentation in the description below. But basically you're going to want to import that date time picker from the npm package and then you'll be able to use it. Because I'm using Expo React Native, I'm not going to need to do any other configuration. If you are using um, the bare React Native, you may need to do so. Um, I'm going to import button because I'm going to specify whether I show the date or the time picker independently based on the button to start with. And then I'll move on to showing both together um, just so that I give you different options for how you might display it. So I've added a button that's called Show Date Time Picker. I'm just also going to import Use State and that's just so I can specify what mode I've got my Date Time Picker in, um, what my current date is, all that sort of thing. So I'm going to have my date as a state variable which means that when it updates it'll trigger the UI to update accordingly and the date time picker can reference it. I'm just going to set it to new date. That's going to give it a default value of today. Uh, it's also worth noting that you can use a date time picker directly in iOS itself and it will have both date and time. Uh, that's not available for Android though and that's why I'm showing you the date and time separately because you're likely using React Native because you're wanting to develop an app for both iOS and Android. So Doing something that works for one but not the other is probably less desirable and it's probably keeps your code nice and simple if you're doing things in the same way for both iOS and Android where possible. So I've got this on change listener that basically when my date time picker changes its value, it's going to set that date and that will um, update my state variable accordingly. I'm also going to have a show state variable, which is going to default to false, and it's going to be whether my date time picker is showing or not. I'm going to set that to false once we've changed the date, as that means that um, we've selected a date so we can close the picker. That's just to give a clean user experience. If that's not the user experience you want, you can choose to not set showing to false and you could have it always showing if you wanted and start in a default mode. So I've also got this function that I'm going to call show mode and I'm going to pass a mode to show that's going to set a state variable um, called mode and also set show to true and that's going to basically configure whether the date or the time picker is displaying for us. So now I've got my state variable mode and that's going to be um, used from my date time picker. And so my date time picker will re-render depending on whether um, date or time mode is specified. So here I am setting the mode based on whatever is passed to that function. And basically I'm going to have two buttons, one for showing date picker, one for showing time picker. When I press on the um, show date picker button, it's going to call that show mode function and it's going to pass in date because we want to show the date picker. Similarly with the time picker, it's going to do the same thing but pass in the time. So I've got this block of code here. And if show is true, it's going to go ahead and show that date time picker. And I'm going to set some different properties against it so that it displays the appropriate mode, date, and um, anything else I need which is basically the on change, it will trigger that on change, which will update the um, date state variable. I'm also choosing to use 24 hour mode, just so it's clear between 
a.m. and p.m. Cool. So now if I click show date picker, it opens, it shows me a date picker and I can click on that to open the calendar and change the date. So now that I've got that working, I'm going to want to go ahead and make the change to allow this to also show the time picker, which will also update that same state date state variable. So I'm going to call this one show time picker and I'm just passing in a show mode of time. So when I click that, it'll show the time picker and I can select a time and update accordingly. It may actually be useful to have text on the screen displaying that date itself. And the reason is that then you can easily see it without clicking on show date or time picker. You can see exactly what the value is at that point in time. So I'm going to do date.toLocale string and it's going to basically give me a string of the date in the um, relevant locale. So you can sort of see there that it's got July 26, 2023 at 1220. And I can go ahead and update any of these and these will be reflected in that text um, component because it's based off the state variable of date. So any change to date causes that text component to re-render with the appropriate new date. So maybe a time where you want to show both the date and time picker on screen and you don't actually want to have to press a button to show it. And so I'm going to show you how to do that now. So I don't need the set show anymore or the mode because I'm going to show both the date and time on screen and not have you um, click a button to show one. I still need that date um, state variable because that's still going to hold what the value is for my date time picker. I can remove that show check and here I've got my date time picker sitting in there. I'm going to update the mode to be date. You can see that I've got a date picker there now. I can duplicate that date time picker so that I can also add a time picker and I'm going to set the mode to that for time. This way I'm going to have both date and time available to select at any time. You can see that I'm getting this error here. It's because I still have some um, old code sitting around that sets my state variables that don't exist anymore. So I'm just removing that and cleaning that up. I still need to set the date because that's my state variable and will control the how the components display. You can see it updates accordingly and this is how I'd approach it if I need to be able to select a date and a time. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. All my code will be available on GitHub. Please like and subscribe for more content.